Hello, my name is Miss Wenray. And I'm Miss Nichols. And we run the Drama GCSE course here at FCC. And in this video, we're going to tell you about what you need to do to prepare for the course for September. The GCSE Drama course is split into three sections. The first is your devising unit, which is worth 40% of the GCSE. Here, you will create your own mini theatre company and create your own original piece of theatre and provide some coursework to support your choices. The second is a scripted performance, a short extract from a published play to an examiner who will mark you on your performance on the day. And that's worth 20%. And finally, at the end of year 11, you will complete a written exam worth 40% of the course. The first half of this is answering questions about a play that you will study across the two year course. And the second half will be evaluating and reviewing a live theatre production that we will go to the theatre to see together. Many of you will have been involved with the school productions during your time at school. These will continue and you will be expected to participate in them, a lot of you taking on lead roles. You will also perform your GCSE drama exam pieces in our purpose-built drama studio and performance space. These will be performed to smaller audiences and the examiner, and you can try out different styles and techniques during these performances based on the different practitioners that we study on the course. You may also be invited to participate in other projects such as the Shakespeare Schools Festival and smaller drama performances you could also help out with Key Stage 3 Drama Club. Because of the nature of the course, it is absolutely vital that you are willing to perform in front of large and small audiences, and it is essential that you are able to participate in group work. On the GCSE Drama course, you don't have to be examined as a performer or actor. You can choose to be examined in your skills on set and prop design, sound design, lighting design, or costume hair and makeup design. It's recommended that you have experience in one of these areas if you're going to choose it as an option. So this is ideal for people who have taken part in things like the tech crew for our school productions. If you do take one of these options, you must still be willing to perform within lessons as well. Drama GCSE was the best and most fun course I took. It enabled me to be creative in both the devising and scripted exams. I learned about new practitioners and different styles of theatre and performed both for devising and school productions. I also made lots of new friends on the course. I really love the Drama GCSE course as firstly it's really good for students like myself or quite a few others in my class who prefer a more practical based subject and even though there is theory you can apply a practical task to help you understand the theory and the subject really helps you with future skills so for example when you're talking in front of people or if you're presenting in a meeting and it's really good for those who want to express themselves creatively but perhaps not by performing so you could do lighting or costume or set design importantly the subject has a really really accepting atmosphere that's created by the teachers and the students who in the end seem like your family at school who you can trust and you can, who you can feel safe with. So what I enjoyed about GCC drama, well I thoroughly enjoyed the range of different theatre that we got to explore um, such as Brecht or Shakespeare which were two of my particularly favourite ones, especially Shakespeare. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the opportunity we got to sort of interpret this classical piece of theatre in our own way, you know, whether you made that modern or how you staged it, or if you just um, slightly changed how it was originally supposed to be interpreted. I found that incredibly fun. I also really enjoyed the opportunity we got to explore different roles within theatre such as being, say, an actress or a director. There was a chance to um, explore costume or lighting if you don't necessarily want to be centre stage, although acting is incredibly fun. It's a 
that's a key part that I especially enjoyed. What I really enjoyed about GCSE drama was how able we really were to explore all our own ideas while still getting help from the teachers being like, oh, I don't know if that's going to work, that's going to work. But they really do give you a lot of creative freedom to really find what you like and what you want to do in your own, like, pieces of work and stuff. So I've really liked that about it and I think it's a really great option for anyone who's enjoyed drama in the young years and just wants to be around people who want, all really want to do well. So what do you need to do in order to be prepared for the course to start in September? Well, we would like you to prepare a one minute monologue which you will be willing to share with the class and perform at the start of the course. This could be the monologue that you've recently written and recorded for your work at home. It could be something that you find online or could be something else that you write yourself. It could be from a, a piece of theater or a film. Anything that you feel comfortable performing would be great. You need to be ready to perform it. You need to think about your use of voice and how you move while you perform and be ready to work on it and make some changes to it in those first few lessons. We would also like you to watch a piece of live theatre. I'll put details of that on the screen now. I will also put details about this on Show My Homework and we can discuss this in our lesson on Google Classrooms. It's really important to watch different pieces of live theatre and understand what goes into them and learn to analyse and evaluate that work. That is a key component of the GCSC course. So this will be some really good practice for that. Other than that, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask myself or Miss Nichols and email us on our school accounts. We really, really look forward to starting the course with you in September.